state-of-the-art sound system isn't the only feature that'll grab your attention in Ford's new Lincoln. I'm Sean Langlis from MarketWatch, and I took the 2009 Lincoln MKS for a spin to check out the new features Ford is hoping will draw a younger demographic and help boost sales. After starting up the engine with the push of a button and using the rear-view camera to back up, you can find directions, traffic info, or where to buy the cheapest gas just by asking. Fuel prices. In addition to the latest navigation technology, the MKS's 16-speaker surround sound system delivers an impressive wall of sound, whether it's from the Sirius radio, the iPod hookup, or from the jukebox hard drive that can store up to 2,400 songs. For watching movies, the system gives the cabin a theater feel. But since there are no screens in the backseat and the car has to be in park for a movie to play, the DVD player is one feature that may be overkill. The MKS also comes with the Sync system, built by Microsoft in partnership with Ford. By pressing one button on the steering wheel, I could make hands-free phone calls, go straight to my favorite station, or find up-to-the-date travel info. At first, it felt like there might be a steep learning curve for a tech challenge guy like myself, but by the end of the day, I felt comfortable bouncing my way around the various features of the car. The whole tech package costs about $6,000, bringing the MKS to $45,000, a hefty price for the younger demographic they're angling for, but hey, it's a lot of tech bang for the buck. Clearly, Ford Motor Company and the Lincoln brand need to notch a big turnaround. Taking on the staples of the mid-sized luxury sedan market isn't going to be easy. You got BMW, Acura, Lexus. But using best-in-class technology at a lower price tag is already appealing to youth with big wins in the early sales results. And nobody needs a big win more than Ford Motor Company does right now. For MarketWatch in San Francisco, I'm Sean Langlois.